Over the last 40 years, the Labour Party has spent 27 of those 40 years out of power. 27 years of Tory misrule. Over the last three years, the Labour Party has had 13 different advertising slogans attached to its name. One piece of Labour Party advertising claimed Rishi Sunak wouldn't jail paedophiles. Labour was accused of gutter politics and Keir Starmer had to defend his own advertising. Now Labour's advertising should be making the Tories feel uncomfortable, not the other way round. The ad caused a flurry of letters to The Guardian. One such letter caught my eye. It's from a lady called Joy Webb from Penniston, South Yorkshire. You say that Keir Starmer has had 12 slogans since becoming leader of the Labour Party, each one more meaningless than the last. May I suggest a very simple one that I really believe would strike a chord with voters. Labour cares. Labour cares. As an ex-ad man, I thought, wow, brilliantly simple idea that embodies what the Labour Party is all about. Labour cares about our NHS. Labour cares about the chasm between rich and poor. Labour cares that people have to choose between eating and heating. Labour cares about the 14 million people living in poverty. And so on. Labour cares about the cost of living crisis, the environment, global boiling, our polluted rivers and streams. The idea goes on and on. Now over the years, the Tories have had some very effective advertising, which has undoubtedly helped swing elections. I was a young art director at Sarch and Sarcher when this ad was conceived. Labour isn't working. The ad worked, and we all know what happened next. Let's fast forward to 1992. This ad had a huge effect on the election of that year. It was launched two days before election day. Boom. The ad may well have made the difference on election day and helped John Major back into Downing Street against all the odds. The ad was devastating. Now this guy took over where Sarch is left off. Take back control. Those three deadly words, so powerful, we live with the consequences today. Get Brexit done. Three more words, equally as deadly. It gave Johnson a landslide and Labour its worst election defeat since 1935. The Tories have had four devastating ads over the last 40 years. And Labour? Well, I can't think of a single piece of memorable Labour advertising over the last 50 years, not one. When political advertising really works, the consequences are devastating, as Labour has found to its cost. Now, let's get back to this brilliantly simple idea by Joy Webb, Labour cares. Those two words embody the decency and compassion that is at the heart of the Labour Party. It's a big idea. In advertising terms, it's a five-year idea that can reach into any political subject and into every constituency. Labour Cares has generated a huge amount of work. All the ads are in simple 48-sheet format, and it's therefore a work in progress. The ads would have authority and be both credible and impactful. Labour Cares About Broken Britain This depicts a derelict wall with weeds, graffiti, broken bottles and the odd syringe. We pan across to a wall which is well painted with words that read Labour will repair all the damage the Tories have done. Now the next ad exposes the arrogance and entitlement that typifies this rotten government. Labour cares about the chasm between rich and poor. Jacob Rees-Mogg, MP, assets £100 million. Jenny Turner, nurse, assets zero. Labour cares. Labour cares about refugees. We see a three-year-old child lying dead on the seashore. The caption at the base of the ad reads, Labour will offer a safe haven for genuine refugees. Labour cares. In the next ad, we see a plaintive child with a begging bowl, a modern-day Oliver Twist. Labour cares that children have to choose between eating and heating. The caption reads, Labour will take over four million children out of child poverty. Labour cares. 
Here we see Mount Kilimanjaro in 2003 covered in snow up to 19,000 feet. The image next to it shows the mountain with barely any snow on it at all in 2023. The headline reads, Labour cares about the environment. The caption at the base reads, Labour is committed to net zero by 2030. Labour cares. Labour cares about homelessness. A caption at the base reads, Labour will seek to eradicate homelessness. Labour cares. We've learned from first-hand experience how the Tories deployed some brutally effective attack ads. Here are some brutal ads that Labour could fire back in response. As a country, the folly of Brexit is manifest for all to see. This ad is the best expression of the absolute folly. Brexit isn't working. We see a mile-long queue towards Dover with a strap line that reads Labour will make Brexit work. Labour cares. Should we care that Tory policies are marching to the right? Too darn right we should. We see jackboots marching on parade. The baseline reads Labour cares about the extremes in politics. Now this next ad attacks the Tories on what used to be their greatest strength, low taxation. It exposes this total myth. The Tories tax bombshell. The lettering on the bomb reads, Highest rate of taxation in 70 years. Beneath which we read the words, Labour will reduce the rate of taxation. Labour cares. Now the next poster would create masses of free publicity and a real ruckus. It's an event. An ideal place to reveal the ad would be on the side of a truck near Parliament Green. All the media would be invited to the event. We'd see Labour Cares emblazoned on a white cover which hides the poster. We hear the rushing sound of water pouring into a tank. A disgusting stench emanates as the white sheet is pulled away to reveal Where have the Tories dropped Britain? And the strap line reads Labour cares about our polluted rivers and streams. Doesn't this just sum up this rotten government? It's a metaphor for the last 13 years which have left our country in a total and utter mess and the stench of sleaze and corruption and of course sewage. With the smell dispersing, the press, TV and radio would then be invited to an area situated next to the poster on Parliament Green. The message on the lectern reads, Labour cares about our polluted rivers and streams. Keir Starmer would then be invited to outline Labour's policies in dealing with the water company's gross disregard in dumping 780,000 stinking sewage leaks into our rivers and waterways last year. Using everything from billboards to car stickers, the Labour Cares idea can reach into every corner of our United Kingdom on issues pertinent to each and every constituency. Labour cares that Burnley is the poorest town in the country. Labour cares about anti-Semitism in Golders Green. Labour cares about gang warfare in Tottenham. Labour cares about the Northern Ireland Protocol. Labour cares that Scotland remains at the very heart of the United Kingdom. Labour cares that Keithley has a new leisure centre. Labour cares the steel rolling sheds in Port Talbot keep rolling. Now an election may be a year away, but here's one idea which shows that hope is on the horizon. This poster would electronically count down the days, hours, minutes and seconds until the Tories are shown the red card. I can't wait. Labour cares, an idea that could help Labour win the next general election.